Welcome to Pow Talk with Bishop Shema Womack L, better known as Pow, your professor of wellness, a world class naturopathic holistic scientist and herbalist who's been improving people's lives for over 40 years through God's divine word. Pow will share life changing principles for your health and wealth, covering a cornucopia of subjects on holistic living that will refresh, encourage, and guide you. Towards a higher zone of living. It's time for you to be, do, and have all that the Creator originally intended for you. So let's get up, 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 over the top with your most trusted name in holistic living. Life coach, speaker, and author, the prophet of wellness, Bishop Shema Womack L. Well, blessings, blessings, and more blessings. I'm really excited about uh, this special word and uh, lesson today. And if you notice the title, I titled it, Why Are You Still Stuck? Woo! This is a message straight from heaven from the heartbeat of heaven and also of the divine father. Why are you still stuck? I was minding my own business and the spirit said, you know what? You need to tell it in such an open, direct, blunt way. And awaken the consciousness of people. And let's get brutally honest right now. If you've been stuck in the same place emotionally, you've been stuck in the same place physically, you've been stuck in the same place financially or spiritually, it's not because of your circumstances. It's not because of your father. It's not because of your mother. It's not because of your sister. It's not because of your brother. Mm -mm. It's not because of your job. It's not because of your aunt, your uncle, your cousin. It's not because of your supervisor. It's not your upbringing or even the people around you. It's because deep, deep, deep down, you're choosing it. <laughs> you are choosing it and you want to continue to play the victim even if you have been victimized you don't have to continue to play the victim you're choosing it why are you still stuck because deep down you want to be and that's a hard pill to swallow but it's also the most liberating truth that you'll ever hear and when you truly wholeheartedly want something different, you'll do whatever it takes to make that shift. You'll stop negotiating with yourself. You'll stop making excuses. You'll start creating momentum. Isn't that something? You probably, now, you probably didn't even really want to realize everything that's happening in your life, good, bad, emotional, you're choosing it. <laughs> you, Y O U. And guess what? I'll say it backwards. You, O Y. Wow. You're actually choosing it. Nobody's choosing it. It's just you. Let's be. Let's be honest about this. And there are three lies that keep you stuck. Three lies that keep you stuck. Number one, I don't have the time or resources. And the truth, you make time for what matters. You do for what matters. You give to what matters. You contribute to what matters. You give your attention to what matters. You put your money to that which is a priority to you. And when it's truly a must, You'll find a way. And I rather believe what God says versus you. 
And in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you do all things that you want to do even without Christ. When you want to drink, you drink. When you want to smoke, you smoke. When you want to have sex, you have sex. When you want to lie, you lie. When you want to get by, you get by. When you want to pay your rent, you pay your rent. When you want to pray, you pray. When you don't, you won't. When you want to eat, you eat. So you choose what you want to do. And this is a lie that, that keeps you stuck. I don't have the time or the resources. But you make time for what matters. When you want to go on vacation, you do. When you want to take a trip, you will. When you want to book a flight, you do. And here's another lie that keeps you stuck. I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm waiting for the right moment. Now, here's the truth. There's never a perfect moment. You don't wait for the opportunity. You create it. And the scripture says in Ecclesiastes 11 and 4, whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. So stop the crap. You're waiting for the right moment. There's no perfect moment. You don't actually wait for anything. You create it. Here's another lie you tell yourself. I've tried everything. Or I've even did this before. See, you have it. If you had, you'll be somewhere else. What you've tried is what's comfortable. That's what you've tried. What's comfortable, dude? Or duet? <laughs> See, growth lives outside of your comfort zone. Growth li lives outside of your comfort zone. And, and the Bible says uh, in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, with God, all things are possible. Yep, all things are possible. So, you got to, first of all, stop telling yourself lies. Now, there's a remedy. Do you want the remedy? Do you want to fix your own situation? Because nobody else chose. You chose. See, you're not a tree. If you don't like where you are, move. See, what, what, what the enemy and the opposition and demonic influences want you to believe that uh, you can't create a new tree because you're not a tree. See, the, the belief is to get you to actually believe that you inherit all of this stuff. And of course, it's a learning thing. You learned it, but you actually continue it. And you don't have to continue it because you're not a tree. If you don't like where you are, you move. And here's how you decide and commit decide and commit decide and commit because the first step is clarity what do you really want and sometimes you just don't know what the heck you want because you're so used to lazy you're so used to lying you're so used to lackadaisical. This is why everybody got a problem, but you, you're the dammer. You're the, we're the one that stopped the flow of the blessing. And you need to get direct, specific, and to the point. And I want to make you, I, I want to make you more aware of yourself. You need to get direct, specific, to the point. I want to make more money. That's what y'all think. Y'all think that's it. I want to make more money. That's not enough. That's so general. I want to make more money. That's not enough. How about I want to earn an extra 10000 in the next six months? Then commit. Write it down. Say it out loud. Remind yourself every day. I want to earn an extra $10,000 in the next six months. Now I don't want to make more money. That's not enough. The Bible says write the vision, make it plain on tablets that 
uh, the one who reads it may run with it. Run with it. That's in the back of, I think, chapter 2, verse 2. And here's the other thing. Change your standards. Yep. Change your standards. Raise the bar on what you tolerate. Stop accepting mediocrity in your health. Stop being cheap with your health. Stop uh, 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 accepting mediocrity in your relationships. Stop uh, accepting mediocrity on your career. Start acting like the person you want to become. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And here's, here's something you really need to do. Shift your story. Mm. Shift your story. The story you keep telling yourself and the story that you tell yourself is the anchor keeping you stuck. Replace I can't with how can I. Replace I'm not good enough with what do I need to learn. And I like Joel 3 verse 10. It says let the weak say I am strong. And let me help you out with this. Take massive action. Don't do that little step. Take massive action. Action beats overthinking every time. Start messy. Be an imperfect starter. Start scared, but start, doggone it. Build momentum by focusing on one small win every day. Because James chapter 2 verse 17 says, Faith by itself is... If it's not accompanied by action, it's dead. Faith without any corresponding action is dead. And then surround yourself with excellence. Find somebody. Beg somebody. Kick a door down. Say, I need you in my life. You are somewhere I want to be. Show me by any means necessary what I need to do to get there. Surround yourself with excellence. Pay your pay someone to be your coach. Pay somebody. Be a mentor so that you're accountable. Look at your environment. Are the people around you lifting you up or dragging you down? Upgrade your circle. Upgrade your circle. Proximity is power. Access it's advancement. Get around people who make you stretch. I like Proverbs 13, 20. It says, walk with the wise and you become wise. Walk with the poor. You become poor. Walk with the rich. You become rich. Walk with the wise. You become wise. For a companion of fools suffers harm. And some of you just been around fools, your own, your own, your own relatives. Sorry to say, fools. Some of them could get better. Some of them could do well. Some of them could be more healthy. Some of them could be more wealthy. They rather stay in messy situations and stay in suffering from with their health and their wealth. And guess what? That's your future if you don't upgrade your circle. That's your future because you're the sum total. Of who, of who you grew up with. And track and adjust. Measure your progress. What's working? What's not? Adjust your strategy without giving up on your goal. The plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. That's Proverbs 21 somewhere in there. But check it out and take ownership and understand the power of ownership. If you can own the fact that you're stuck because of your own choices. Oh, my God. If you can own that it's me, it's me, it's me, oh, Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. You unlock the power to change it. And here, here's the good news. The person who got you here. Is the same person who can get you out. I'll say it again. The person who got you here is the same person who can get you out. So stop waiting for a savior. Be your own rescue. 
As the Bible says, arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Now, what's one action you could take today to break this doggone cycle and commit to it, execute it, repeat it? See, your future self is waiting on the other side of your decision. And stop BSing yourself all the time. Yeah, you, you just, it's another reason why you stuck. You love BSing yourself. You love telling yourself those three lies. I don't have the time or the resources. I'm waiting for the right moment. I, try, I did this before and I tried everything. Look how old you're getting. That crap don't work. It doesn't work at all. So stop it. It's time to actually do something totally, 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 totally different. Totally different. Totally different. Real, real, real different. You can't change what you're not willing to confront. And if you want something you never had before, you must actually do something you never did before because your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. Because God didn't bring you this far to actually leave you where you are. But you need to understand, faith without works is dead. If you're brave enough to say goodbye, Life is going to reward you with a new hello. I'm going to tell you, the only limits to what you can achieve are the ones you set in your mind. See it in your mind, see it in time. Get yourself a coach. Get yourself a mentor. Mentor is really good. But maybe if you can't afford a coach, get just, I mean, you can't afford a mentor, get yourself a coach. Coaches are much cheaper. But you got to understand it's going to take a little longer. But look where you are right now. You will never plow fill by turning it over in your mind. You got to stop thinking. You overthink, overthink. All right. You know, invest in yourself. Rise up. This matters. This matters. Rise up. Because even this matter is in your hands. And I'm here to support you. So take courage. Do it. And the best way to predict your future is to create it. I'm telling you, this, is, this, this message is right on time. It's God's timing. And God's timing is perfect. But your action is necessary. Don't wish it was easier. You should wish that you do better. Tired of feeling stuck? Take some action today. Call somebody. Tell them to assist you, to help you. Tell, tell, them you, tell them you're going to invest in your future. When you feel stuck, remember that God's delay is not God's denial. It might be you just ignoring all the signals. Ah, what else do I say? Everything you want is on the other side of fear. Everything is, is on the other side of your decision. Do what you can with what you have where you are and the best is yet to come i want to remind you i want to remind you why are you still stuck because deep down inside you want to be you're choosing it but look at the consequences look how it's working out for you in your relationships in your relationship to everybody and to everything from your career vocation your money where you live your current status relation and financial status you dude are choosing it thank you for listening to pow talk if you enjoyed this podcast and would like to learn more about the benefits of holistic health to reach a higher zone of living, go to our website, 
www.bishopwomack.com and be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on new episodes. Until next time, remember, there's only one place to go. Up, 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 and over the top. <laughs>